All right, hi, my name is Evan Sheehan. I'm an employee here at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in the cryogenics and fluids branch. So one of the things that we're interested in here at the cryogenics and fluids branch are the thermal physical properties of materials at very low temperatures because space is cold and space detectors are even colder. So we have to make sure we know how the materials are going to behave at very low temperatures. So to give you a demonstration today about the types, well, one of the many effects uh, that happens to materials at very low temperatures, I have a racquetball here. Uh, it's just a regular rubber, it's a polymer, uh, so long chains of hydrocarbons. And we're going to see what happens when it goes from room temperature to very low temperatures. So at room temperature, of course, you know, nothing surprising at all. It bounces like a racquetball should if it's not flat. Um, and the way that works is uh, the racquetball can squeeze and stretch at room temperature because the molecules are very uh, flexible and they can sort of compress like a spring and then when that spring releases its energy uh, it bounces back up into the air which is the reason why racquetball is fun. So now uh, I'm going to dunk this in liquid nitrogen which is at 77 Kelvin, very very low temperature and we're going to see what kind of effect that has on the performance of this racquetball. So here we go. I'll take a few moments to get down the temperature. Safety first, of course. Okay, that should be good. So this is very, very cold now. So let's see what happens if we try to bounce this racquetball. Not nearly as bouncy as it was before. And the reason for that is the racquetball is so cold that the molecules have surpassed what's called the uh, glass transition temperature, which means it's no longer flexible. And so the molecules can't bend and stretch. So when it would normally bend and stretch as it hits the ground, and then act like a spring that springs back up into the air. It keeps its shape and there's no spring-like action so it just doesn't bounce the way it used to. Uh, we're going to look at this racquetball again but this time with a sudden impact. Uh, something like what you might expect to see during a launch uh, of some kind of spacecraft or satellite. We have to be sure that our materials won't break at cryogenic temperatures under these uh, significant impact lows. So again we have our racquetball here at room temperature, uh, very elastic, and if we try to hit it with a hammer, it's totally fine. But if we take that same racquetball and we dunk it in liquid nitrogen like this one has been, as we saw before, it's going to be much less flexible than the room temperature racquetball. And so when we hit this one with a hammer, It shatters with a lot of force. So that's why we care about whether or not materials are going to hold up under impact loading at low temperatures.